Austin Wells is among the top prospects in the Yankees organization and has a stellar season going in Somerset with the Patriots thus far. He's been a force at the plate and leads his team and runs batted in after his grand slam last night. And he joins us now on BPTV. Austin, thank you so much for spending some time with us. And we heard Anthony Volpe's side of the whole chicken parm dinner that his aunt cooked up for both of you and a couple other of your teammates as well. We just want to get it from your side, your perspective perspective it's been kind of a lightning rod since you and Anthony have taken off since then so how did it all come about yeah we finally uh, had a day where we were able to you know meet up on an off day we both had it off so um, we met over at his house uh, after some golf and you know we just started sitting down and, and we're going over you know past highlights and and remembering when we we used to play together in 21 and 22 down in low a and high a and you know um you know it just kind of started from there and and you know whatever it was that we talked about um you know it's certainly working and you know he's doing he's doing amazing yeah he also said that you both took something out of what you saw in his swing now we saw the difference a little bit in his stance and he's taken off and over your last 11 games you're hitting over 300 you have seven extra base hits 15 rbi including that grand slam we just mentioned so what were you able to take from that to order to jump start you as well yeah, I think a lot of it was pretty similar uh, for the both of us. You know, it was just more so mentally than anything. And, uh, you know, being back together and, you know, just feeding off each other's confidence, I think, uh, gave us just a runway to continue to have success and, you know, you know, be the players that we are. And your relationship, Austin, as you said, you played together in 21 and 22. There's a lot of long bus rides. You're on the road a lot. So your, your relationship really got tight then. Can you just give us a little bit of the background of why you guys are so close? Yeah, I think that we're two peas in a pod, really, when it comes to life and playing baseball. So, you know, we enjoy the same things. Uh, we're both very competitive and, you know, we're both out there doing everything we can to be the best. So I think it's a, it just came easy for us to get close and, uh, you know, try to win together. His family lives close by. Is there any way you can get that chicken parm like from his aunt delivered to Somerset to the stadium? Are you working on that? Do you have kind of an in with that or what's going on? Yeah, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump over there. I'm sure I could just go over there for dinner whenever. Um, you know, <laughs> being as that, I lived there all last season. So, you know, you his family, and they've been amazing to me. So, you know, it's awesome. All right, now how about yourself adjusting to double A? Let's let's start with behind the plate. We, we we talked to you last year about your journey. How has it been? You're almost at your year anniversary at Somerset. So can you just describe going from single A to double A and, and what you've done adjustment wise behind the plate? Yeah, I think at every level, um, you know, it's pretty much the same. Trying to make your pitchers look as good as they can out there, um, give them confidence and, you know, just have them have fun out there. You know, when when we're having fun, we're usually winning baseball games. So, you know, when, when everyone's doing that, we're winning. Um, it's hard not to have fun and, and do well. And what about at the plate, uh, Austin? Because we've seen you, you're hitting over 250. You're doing very well at the plate as well as behind the plate uh, at the catching position. So what adjustments have you had to make as a hitter at the double-A level? Yeah, I think at the double-A level and, and continuing on, I think, you know, you just have to really stick to your approach and, you know, really start to game plan for the teams that what they're going to try and do against you. And, you know, it's going to, you know, it's been uh, obvious this month. There was a, there was a, a couple weeks stretch where we faced some teams that I've faced since low and, you know, they, they pitched me the same way they have been the whole time. And I was able to, you know, jump on some pitches um, just by, you know, looking in the past couple of years and seeing how they, how they've um, pitched me and, you know, sticking to that approach. We mentioned that you're coming up on that one year anniversary at double A. So what are some of your goals personally for you? Do you want to be a triple A by the end of the season? Where do you see yourself? Yeah, it's, I think that's hard to, you know, predict as a player. Um, you know, I'm just trying to do the best I can every day. Um, and then whatever um, is needed from me, you know, that's what I want to do. And that's how I want to help the Yankees win. You know, I mean, I think. It'd be crazy to say that I don't want to be in the big league, so I want to, you know, do everything I can to be there and, and get to play with Anthony again. Austin, we look forward to that day, and we appreciate the time today. Thank you so much.
Thank you. Appreciate it. For more on Wells, catch an all-new episode of Homegrown, The Path to Pinstripes tonight on Yes, and get a close-up look at top prospects, including Jason Dominguez. Watch Homegrown, presented by Wendy's tonight after Yankees coverage on Yes and the Yes app.